Hello, my name is Mayanka. I am accounts and a finance trainer from Uplex. Today we will start our one of the important head of income tax, PGBP, profit and gain of business or profession. This is very much important head of income. As per the income tax, there are five head of income. Number one is salary. Number two is house property. Number three is PGBP. Number four is capital gain. And number five is income from other sources. PGBP is also a very much important. It is very much important head of income in which we will discuss under head under PGBP we will discuss the amount of profit or the amount of gain which is earned from the business which is earned from the business and profession so now we will start our new concept we will start our new head of income PGBP PGBP first in this class we will discuss the definition and the meaning of the business what is the meaning of the business what is to be known as business and we will also discuss some other important and relevant points and the definitions so that we can properly understand which amount of profit which amount of gain will be taxable under the head of pgbp under the head of pgpp so now we will start our discussion first we will discuss meaning of business and profession what is the meaning of business and what is the meaning of profession what is to be known as meaning and profession is that if there is any profit which is earned by the person from the business from the profession then it will be taxable under the head of pgpp so what is the meaning of business and what is the meaning of profession as like there is a person mr ram and he is engaged in the mr ram he is engaged in the business of in the business of textile he is engaged in the business of textile and he earned 250000 rupees as profit he earned the uh, 250000 rupees as the amount of profit then such 250000 rupees will be taxable under the head of pgbp it will be taxable under the head of PGBP. So any of the profit or gain which is earned from business and profession, then it will be taxable under the head of PGBP. So before understanding the taxation provision, we will discuss some important definitions. First, what is the meaning of business and profession? So the business and profession, the tax which is payable by the assessee on his income. Income means profit and gain of any prof any business or any profession any of the business or any of the profession which is carried on by the assessee during the previous year during the previous year any of the business or any of the profession is carried on by the assessee and on such business he earned the amount of profit on such business he on such business or profession he earn the gain then such a gain such then such a profit will be taxable under the head of pgbp under the head of pgbp so for the purpose to understand the provision of pgbp first it is important to know business and profession the word business and profession so the business means that term business has not been defined under the it is it is defined under the income tax act the meaning of the business has been defined it is defined under the income tax act as per the section 2 subsection 13 as per section 2 subsection 13 of the income tax act the business includes business include any trade any commerce any manufacturing or any adventure or concern in the nature of trade commerce and manufacturing is that business include if there is any person who is a trading in the any goods any services then it will be known as business if there is any person he is manufacturing any goods then it will be considered as a business any uh, any person who is engaged in the adventure then it will also be considered as 
business means means the business include business include trade commerce manufacturing adventure or the concern which is in the nature of business commerce and manufacturing if there is any person who is doing trading activities it is to be known as business if there is any person doing manufacturing it will be considered as it will be considered as business so if there is a painter he is painting he is doing painting it will be known as business it will be known as business means he is professional he is professional so it, so it will be considered as professional so the business includes business includes trade commerce manufacturing or any adventure or the concern in the nature of trade commerce or manufacturing profession mean the definition of the profession is not defined in income tax act but the profession means occupation occupation which is earn which is arise after some degree of training means the profession means it means the occupation requiring some degree of learning some degree of learning profession include vocation as well as vocation is also be considered as profession vocation is also be considered as is also be considered as profession means in the case of profession if there is any person if there is any person who want to be professional then a particular degree professional degree is required professional degree is required just like just like doctor the doctor is a professional because he has the degree of doctor means mbbs degree md degree uh, so he will be considered as professional chartered accountant he is he also have the degree of ca cs cws these all are these all are considered as profession these all are considered as professional persons because the profession means an occupation which is requiring a degree of learning which is requiring the degree of learning advocate these all are these all are professional and these are profession on the basis of their degree on the basis of their degree so business includes trade commerce manufacturing or any adventure and professional include vocation professional include vocation so this is the meaning means this is the normal meaning of the profession and the vocation profession and the vocation so if there is any lawyer earn the amount of income if there is any lawyer he is earn the amount of income by any case or by any of proceeding then such income will be taxable under the head of pgbp under the head of pgbp because he is a professional and and he is earning the income from his profession and he earn the income from his profession so a painter so the painter doctor auditor lawyer architecture astrologer these all are considered as professional and the, their business their activities will be considered as profession these activity will be considered as a profession it will not be considered as business if there is any doctor he is providing consulting there is a doctor he is providing consulting then it will be considered as profession it will not be considered as business however it is it is not material whether a person carrying a business or profession or vocation sits for the purpose of assessment profit of for from all these sources are treated and tax like means for the purpose of assessment it is not mandatory but means it is not uh, it is not mandatory to ascertain whether he is engaged in business whether he is engaged in the profession if there is any person who is who is doing the activity of business profession vocation and he is earning the amount of profit then it is sufficient to assessment of such person assessment of such income in the hands of such person means to assess the income it is not important to identify whether he is involved in he is involved in manufacturing whether he is involved in trading or he is a professional or he is in the vocation it is not matter because the income will be taxed the income will be assessed it means the income will be taxed or the income will be assessed 
samely means there is no any other concept in the respect of the profession that the prof in the case of profession the income will be taxed separately means there is a separate provision or there is separate taxation or or the income will be assessed separately so the provision will remain same it means in the case of assessment of the income it is not mandatory to identify whether it is earned from business earned from profession business necessarily means a continuous exercise of an activity nevertheless profit from a single venture in the nature of trade may also be treated as venture is that in the case of business there is a requirement of continuity means the business activity are to be made in the in the continuation basis it should be made in the continuation basis so the profit which is earned by the sec the profit which is earned by the sec from a single venture if there is any amount of profit which is earned by the sec in the single venture will also be considered as business it will also be considered as business so if there is any person who is engaged in manufacturing in trading in any adventure or in any concern then it will be considered as business it will be considered as business and if there is any person who is a professional who is professional and from his profession he is earning the income then it will be considered as profession it will be considered as profession these doctor ca advocate these all are will be considered as professional these all are will be considered as profession meaning of profit what is the meaning of profit what is the meaning of profit so first we will discuss profit in cash and profit in kind profit in cash or the profit in kind means the amount of profit can be earned the amount of profit can be realized either in cash or in kind means we can realize the amount of profit is in cash or is in kind is in kind so for the example we have receiving we have receiving any property we have receiving any assets in the respect of any profit in the respect of profit or in the consideration of profit then it will be considered as profit in cash so profit in kind we have receiving the amount of profit in cash then it will be considered profit in cash so profit may be realized in money or it may be money's worth is that it may be released or sorry it may be received in cash or it may be received in kind so when the profit is realized when the amount of profit realized or when the amount of profit received received in any other form other than cash when any of the profit realized from any form other than cash other than cash then it will be it will be considered that profit received in kind profit received in kind and when and when the profit received in kind then it will be considered as profit in cash profit in cash means when the profit is realized in any other assets other than cash then it will be considered as profit in kind and when the profit is realized in cash then it will be considered as profit in cash so when the profit is realized in any form other than cash the cash equivalent of the received on the date of receipt must be taken as value of income and it will be received in kind when we have received any other assets any other asset in the place of in the place of profit in the place of profit then the value then the value of such asset then the cash value of such asset will be considered the income it will be considered the income in the hands of asset and it will be taxable and it will be taxable so when the profit received in any other thing other than cash that it will be considered as profit in kind profit in kind what is the main meaning of capital receipt what is the meaning of capital receipt capital receipts are those receipts which are not revenue receipts means in the case of business there are two type of receipt number one is capital receipt and number two is revenue received the receipt which is the receipt which does not have regular nature means which is not received regularly which is a receive which is received in some second cases then such a receipt will be known as capital receipt then such a receipt will be considered as capital receipt just like government grant if there is any government grant which is received for the purchase of any assets there is a government grant which is received for the purchase of any of any capital asset then it will be considered as capital receipt then it will be known as capital receipt 
they known as, as as capital receipt there is any receipt which is arise from the sale of asset means there is a assets there is a mohan and he sold he sold a machine in his business this machine is the capital assets for him this assets is the capital assets for him and he sold it is just like 1 lakh 50000 such then such 1 lakh 50000 will be known as capital receipt it will be known as capital receipt so the amount of capital receipt will not be taxable it will not be taxable so the amount which is not regularly received which is not regularly received the nature of such receipt is not regular it is not regular generally when we calculate the amount of profit of our business under the head of capital under the head of pgbp we will not consider the amount of capital receipt means when we calculate the amount which will be taxable under the head of pgbp the amount of capital received will not be taxable will not be considered will not be considered voluntarily received what is the meaning of voluntarily received so voluntarily received means voluntarily received means if there is any receipt which is receiving business if there is any amount or there is any income which is received by the assessee in the in his business or in his profession there is any receipt which is earned by the assessee in his business or in his profession is that voluntarily payment made by an assessee who were under no obligation to pay anything at all all or all, all would be income in the hands of recipient is that when there is any person who is engaged in the business and such person paying any amount to any one if there is any person he is paying any amount to any one without any obligation means in the respect of such payment he does not have any obligation obligation he has not or any obligation to pay such amount to the such person he is not under the obligation then such payment will be known as voluntarily payment then such payment will be considered as voluntarily payment just like just like mr ram he is paying 10000 rupees to mr sham as a donation as a donation it is not required by mr mohan but he is paying voluntarily mr ram he is paying voluntarily then it will be known as voluntarily payment and and in the hands of mr mohan it will be considered as voluntarily received it will be considered as voluntarily received or there are there are some other examples which are which are related to voluntarily received so any of the payment which is made by the person to the another person without any obligation without any obligation then such payment will be known as voluntarily payment and the person who will receive such payment the person who will receive such a payment then it will be considered as voluntarily payment sorry it, it will be considered that voluntarily received in the hands of receiver in the hands of receiver it will be considered as voluntarily received so it will be taxable in the hands of voluntarily receiver such amount of voluntarily payment voluntarily received will be taxable in the hands of receiver if they were received in the course of if such amount of income if such amount is received in the course of business and profession in the business of profession thus any amount which is paid to the lawyer by the person who was not the client there if for the example there is a payment which is made by the person to the lawyer to the lawyer who is not the client means mr ram he is paying 10000 rupees to his lawyer to the to a lawyer and such lawyer is not the and mr ram he is not the client of such lawyer he is not the client of such lawyer but who has been benefited by the lawyer profession but uh, mr ram obtain the benefit from the from the lawyers from the lawyers profession then such income will be considered as voluntarily received in the hands of lawyer in the hands of lawyer it will be considered the voluntarily received in the hands of lawyer because there is no any obligation on the ram there is ram is not another obligation to make the payment to lawyer but he 
voluntarily making the payment to the lawyer voluntarily making the payment to the lawyer so in this situation such payment will be known as voluntarily payment and the payment is received by received by the advocate then it will be considered as voluntarily received it will be considered as voluntarily received in the hands of lawyer and such a voluntarily received will be taxable in the hands of lawyer it will be taxable in the hands of lawyer it will be considered the income of lawyer application of gain of trade is immaterial application of the gains of the trade is immaterial means when there is any amount of gain which is made even for the benefit of the community by the public body it is liable to tax means there is a community which is made for the public benefit which is made for the public benefit and if such organization making the amount of profit then such profit will also be taxable under the head of pgp under the head of pgp to attract the provision of section 28 it is necessary that the business profession and the vocation should be carried on at least some time during the accounting period but not necessarily throughout the year and not necessarily by the assessee or the owner personally but it should be under this direction and control is that if there is any amount of profit or there is any profit or gain which is earned by the any of the community any of the community the community which is established for the benefit of public for the benefit of public then the amount of income or the amount of profit which is earned by such community will also be taxable under the head of pgb in the case of pgbp in the case of pgbp it is necessary means in the case of pgbp had it is necessary the amount means there should be proper business in the case of pgbp there should be the business but it is not important that the the business carried out whole of the year if it is carried on if it is carried on only for 2 3 months only for 5 6 months then it is a sufficient it is sufficient and the income which is earned from such business will be taxable under the head of pgbp it is not important that the business carried on by the assessee by the owner whole of the year whole of the year if such a business is carried on by any other person on the behalf of owner or it is carried on by the assessee by the any person for the period of some days for the period of some time not for whole of the year then the section 28 will be applicable and the income which is earned from such business and the income which is arises from such business will be taxable under the head of pg it will be taxable under the head of pgb under the head of pgb so if there is any person who is making the business and on the behalf of him means the ram he is the owner of the business mr ram he is the owner of business owner of the business and he is engaged in the business so mohan he is doing he is doing business that he is doing business on the behalf of on the behalf of ram means in the ram's business he is doing some business activity on the control or on the direction of ram on the control on the control and direction direction of ram then it will all then it will be considered as and and such a business is carried on from means for 5 months only carried on 5 months only in the in a year then it will be considered as business it will be considered as business and income or profit profit from this business taxable under the head pgb it will be taxable under the head of pgb it will be taxable under the head of pgb so gain which is made even for the benefit of community by the public body by the public body then it would be taxable under the head of income tax 
to attract the provision of section 28 to attract the provision of section 28 it is necessary that the business profession and the vocation should be carried on at least for some time it is should be carried on at least for some time during the accounting year but it is not necessary that it should be done throughout the year and it is not necessary that it should be carried on by the assessor it should be carried on by the assessor personally if it is done by any other person then it should be carried on by the another person under the control or under the direction of him legality of income legality of the income the illegality of the business profession and the vocation does not exempt its profit from the tax is that if there is any person who is illegally who is illegally engaged in any business activity or he is earning the amount of profit from such from such business then such business profit will also be taxable it will not be exempt it will also be taxable it will also be taxable in this situation there are many provisions which are relating to penalty which are relating to taxation will be will be applicable on such person in the case of illegal business in the case of when there is any business which is considered or which is engaged by the person which is done by the person illegally which is done by the person illegally then if there is any illegality of the business and the assessee he is earning the amount of income earning the amount of profit from such business then such amount of profit will not be exempted it will be taxable under the head of pjbp but uh, if there are some other provision which are related to income tax and it will be applicable on such income so the revenue is not concerned with the train of illegality of the income or its source so the income if there is any person who is engaged in the business and he is earning the income legally or illegally mean in the both cases legality or illegality in both cases then such income will be taxable in both cases the income will be taxable in both cases in both cases number next six number income from distinct business income from the same business if there is any person if mr ram he have two business mr ram he has business a and business b and from business a he is earning 2 lakh 25000 rupees profit and from b he earn 1 lakh 75500 rupees as a profit then in the case of each and every business means in the case of these two business the separate assessment shall be made the separate provision shall be applicable means the separate assessment shall be made in the respect of these both business of mr sam the separate business sorry the separate assessment shall be made the profit of each distinct business the profit of each distinct business must be computed it must be computed separately it must be determined it must be computed separately. Separately, but the income chargeable under this section is not on the separate income of every distinct person, but on the aggregate profit of all business controlled by the SSC. Means the income will be computed. The income will be assessed separately. The income will be assessed, or the income will be computed separately. But when we calculate the amount of, when we calculate the amount of tax, when we calculate the amount of income tax, then the tax will be calculated aggregate the tax will be calculated on the total income is that the tax will be calculated on 225000 plus 175000 on total amount 45000 the tax will be calculated on total 45000 but when we assess the income but when we compute the income then the, in, the computation shall be made separately means the income which is related to the business a it will be it will be added in the profit of business a if there is any income which is relating to business b then it will be taxable in business b in business b means if there is any income which is related to the different different business then it will be compute separately but for the taxation purpose but for the purpose of taxation but for the purpose of taxation when we calculate the amount of tax on such profit then the tax will be calculated common will be calculated aggregately it will be calculated aggregately so the profit of 
each distinct business must be computed the profit of each separate business must be computed separately but uh, the tax chargeable under the head of pgbp when on the separate business then we will calculate the tax aggregately we will calculate the tax aggregately on all the business which is carried on by the sec tax will be calculated aggregately on all the business of the sec computation of profit computation of profit the profit in the case of pgbp the amount of profit is calculated after deducting all the losses after deducting all the expenses is that when there is any person he earn the amount of income in the business and from such income we will reduce the amount of expenses we will reduce the amount of loss we will reduce the amount of loss and then after the reduction of loss after the reduction of expenses the amount will be arise the amount is arise then it will be known as profit it will be known as profit so the profit would be computed after deducting the profit will be computed after deducting the amount of loss after deducting the amount of expenses which is incurred for earning such income for earning such income in the in the regular course of business in the regular course of profession in the regular course of vacation unless the loss and the expenses is expressly or necessarily implication and disallowed by the law the charge is not on the gross receipt but on the profit and fee is that is that there is an example there is a assessee mr mohan and he earn sales he earn the income by the way of sales just like 8 lakh 75000 rupees and the expenses the expenses are just like direct expenses direct expenses just like 2 lakh 50000 rupees salary income of sorry salary payment 1 lakh 75000 and business other expenses business related expenses it is 189000 so the amount so this minus so only 261000 rupees will be considered as profit means from the income we will reduce all the expenses and 260000 rupees will be 261000 rupees will be considered as profit and taxable under the head pgbp it will be taxable under the head of pgbp so the income so the income after reducing the amount of expenses after reducing the amount of losses the net amount will be taxable as profit and gain the net amount will be taxable as profit and gain means the gross income will not be taxable under the head of pgbp the net amount of income the net amount of profit the net amount of gain will be taxable under the head of pgbp under the head of pgbp and the net amount will be calculated total income or the gross income minus expenses minus all the losses all the losses which are relating to such organization which are relating to such organization no so on the basis of such a discussion we have discussed or we have understand some important and the relevant point which are important and the relevant point which are relating to the pgbp which are relating to the business and profession we have discussed what is the meaning of business what is the meaning of profession we have discussed what is the what is the voluntarily received what is the capital received and we have also discussed about the some other points which are relating to the basics of pgbp because before understanding the pgbp provision the the basics are very much important to understand so that you can identify whether such profit is is taxable under the head of pgbp or any other head if it is related to business then it will be taxable under the pgbp head if it is not related to the business or profession then it will not be taxable under the pgbp head so the knowledge of the business the knowledge of the profession is also very much important to taxable to tax the that income under the head of pgbp so we have covered some important and the basic provisions basic concept which is relating to the business and profession so thank you so much for watching this video kindly consider 
all the videos of this uh, topic so that you can properly understand the amount which will be taxable under the head of egypt so thank you so much for watching this video okay bye bye and have a nice day